The Battle of Midway 101 is an in-depth look at the Battle of Midway. It's an eight and a half hour long course made up of 22 video lessons. This is a preview of Lesson 19. Between 1400 and 1800, the torpedo planes of Hiryu's 2nd Counter-Strike attacked Yorktown. American scout planes located Hiryu, and a large explosion occurred on Akagi. Then, Nagumo learned about two torpedo hits on another enemy carrier, Kaga and Soryu were abandoned, and Task Force 16 launched strikes against Hiryu. Not knowing that the American dive bombers were approaching, Admiral Yamaguchi ordered a 90-minute delay in the launching of Hiryu's third counter-strike. Lesson 19 of the Battle of Midway 101 covers these events, including a description of the SBD's attack on Hiryu. Lesson 19 is 37 minutes long. The title page photo is a Japanese Kate torpedo plane. After a closer look, he sent a scouting report identifying the location of a lone Japanese carrier. An enormous explosion occurred in the forward area of Akagi's hangars. The blast blew open the curved forward bulkhead that overhung the anchor deck. Only nine of Tomonaga's 16 aircraft were returning, four Zeros and five Kates. Of these, three Zeros and two Kates were shot up beyond repair. Breaking out of a cloud bank, Tomonaga and his men could clearly see the American carrier ahead of them. Around the carrier, the American cruisers and destroyers were closed up in a tight ring about 3,000 meters across. Suddenly, one right after the other, two enormous geysers lifted up over the carrier's flight deck. Hashimoto and his men felt a surge of elation as they realized their success. Yorktown's skipper, Captain Elliot Buckmaster, was concerned that she might capsize and kill many of her crew. To prevent such a catastrophe, he ordered the men to abandon ship at 1500.
With the odds not getting any better, and here you second strike recovered, it was time to start opening the range. So the mobile fleet began a retreat to the northwest, turning to a course of 315 degrees at a speed of 28 knots. Unknown to Yamaguchi and Nagumo, American retribution for Yorktown's crippling was already forming up and heading for Hiryu. On board cruiser Tone, Admiral Abe was analyzing the scouting reports. After coming to the conclusion that he had a good sense of the enemy's composition, he sent Admiral Nagumo what turned out to be a very accurate appraisal of the latest intelligence. Actually, there was very little left of the ship to save by this time. Eight hours of fire and explosions had left her a gutted shell. Soryu's condition at this point was much the same as Kaga's, with many men already in the water. Convinced that his aircraft had badly damaged two of the three American carriers, Yamaguchi was determined to go after the third. Unfortunately, he now had practically nothing left with which to do it. Enterprise's Lieutenant Gallagher had spotted Hiryu at 1645, after first flying north of the burning carriers that he had helped destroy in the morning. Instant Richard Jacquard of VS-6 got the first hit. His 1,000-pound bomb landed on Hiryu's forward elevator. So why did Admiral Nagumo order Admiral Kakuta to rendezvous with him as soon as possible? How many Kates were in Hiryu's second counter-strike? What happened to strike leader Tominaga? And how many torpedoes hit Yorktown? The answers to all of these questions and a lot more can be found in Lesson 19 of the Battle of Midway 101.
More information and previews of all 22 lessons of the Battle of Midway 101 can be found at midway101.com.